A Battle Creek man is in critical condition after a vicious attack, but because of tips, police say the suspect is behind bars. 24 Hour News 8's Mark Thompson is live in Battle Creek now with that story. Mark? Yeah, good evening, Sue. The suspect, Lamont Lomax, was arraigned this afternoon in district court for beating a homeless man that witnesses say he knew, and police say it was a brutal attack. 38-year-old Lamont Lomax was vocal and argumentative during his arraignment, telling the judge that he was the one fighting off an attack. Do you understand the charge I just read in the penalty? But the charges read differently. Lomax facing one count of assault with intent to murder and possible life in prison. Police say it was after 4 o'clock Tuesday afternoon when Lomax allegedly beat the victim, 52 year old Daniel Lewis, here near the corner of Capitol Avenue and Territorial Road in Battle Creek. Lewis is a well known homeless man in the neighborhood who goes by the nickname Spider, and we're told he and Lomax hung out together. Spider is a great guy. He's just a good friend. He's, a, you know what, if he's got it, He'll help you. Witnesses tell police Lomax used a stick or pipe to beat Lewis near death, although the weapon was never recovered. They say Lewis was bleeding profusely from the head and had to be revived by first responders before being transported to the hospital. No one deserves to be beat down like that. But police say citizens stepped up, one attending to Spider and calling 911, the other following Lomax in a car and providing detailed information leading to his arrest. Everybody now, nowadays carries cell phones. They can get on the cell phone from a safe distance and call 911 and give good, accurate information that can help the officers uh, track down some of these suspects. Now, again, Lewis remains in critical condition. He does have a bit of a history of mental illness. Lomax just moved here from Gary, Indiana. He's due back in court on March 21st. We're live from Battle Creek tonight. Mark Thompson, 24-Hour News 8.